Okay, China Immortal Run. We're going for Domination. China is one of my favorite civs because they have this wonderful unit called the Chukonu, which is just a crossbowman, except it's got logistics right out the gate, which is double shot. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's level 5 upgrade normally, but instead of that, build one, you get it right out the gate. You can double shoot, you can do double damage, you can do double XP because of it, and then you can get range up really quickly because of that. And with the two of those things, you got a really lethal unit on your hand. And that upgrade goes into the late game. You can keep upgrading that unit to Gatling Gun and Machine Gunner and, and all that, and he will keep it. So that's my goal. Also, Paper Maker is an upgrade for the library. So we get paid to learn. So I really like this sieve. They get a bunch of great generals too, which are very nice to have. We're going to play on Oval, which is just some weird Pangea thing I've never tried, so let's see what that's about. We're doing Immortal. Let's start her up. Blessings of heaven be upon you, Empress Wu Zutian, most beautiful and haughty ruler of China. Oh, great Empress, whose shadow causes the flowers to blossom and the rivers to flow. You are the leader of the Chinese, the oldest and the greatest civilization that humanity has ever produced. China's history stretches back into the mists of time, its people achieving many great things long before the other upstart civilizations were even conceived. China's contributions to the arts and sciences are too many and too wondrous to do justice to. The printing press, gunpowder, the works of Confucius, these are but a few of the gifts China has given to an undeserving world. Okay, you get the gist. Now, uh, we have a choice here between production or a river. Uh, that's a hard choice because we could put ourselves on that hill, get some production boost, we could get defense out of it, or we could get a little building that'll give us bonus to food. I think that I would rather have the production for China. We're going Liberty. We're going to be producing a lot of cities and a lot of units. So we're going to move on top of that hill. Uh, we're not going to get to take advantage of this marble. Uh, the perk of marble is to build wonders faster. It's not going to help me too much. Maybe later on. Not the early wonders though, because of the way I'm doing this. These desert tiles kind of suck. But that's okay. We won't work them. We need all the protection we can get right now. Hmm. I hope that was a good idea, because this would have been a really nice spot just for these hills over here as well. Which also give us production, and now they are kind of far away. Anyway, we, we're stuck in the rut we made, so let's go ahead and go with it. Head for. Well. Hmm, let's head for pottery. Just grab that real quick. Unless I meet another AI. Grab a scout. I don't know what's going on with this map already. It's kind of strange. We'll figure it out. Looks like we're at the end of the, the road here. Well, yep, it's that end, so let's go left. Scouts, okay. I don't think we need two scouts. Could help, though. I probably should build them. You know what, let's do it. Let's just do two scouts and really scour the map. It's going to be a reasonably sized Pangea map. It's it's small, but it's still... Help me, maybe we can get a ruin out of it. I'm going to check out all the territory. Well, that's interesting. There's a city state down there, and gems, and gold. Pottery's done. That was kind of a crappy ruin. Next 
Tuffani Moctezuma, Emperor Incaino Las Pecas, Lakin Tejuatlen, Titlapacatl. He is so excitable, I love Montezuma. He just has that crazy eyes look all the time, no matter what he's saying. Though what he's saying is pretty crazy eyes worthy anyway. Stay out of his way, he's a very aggressive early game fighter. Let's get our monument out already, and I think that I'm gonna have to deal with that barbarian camp, so I might as well leave those warriors here while my scouts do their thing. Bunch of crappy terrain for them to travel on anyway. Writing, there's our special building. Two gold, instead of paying for it, we get paid. We are not going for this, that, that would be dumb. We're, there's no way we'll get that, so... The last game I played was De Deity, and it took him 50 turns to build a great library, I was surprised. I could have be I could have built that that game if I really wanted to. I didn't even think it was a chance, but sometimes it can happen that way. Rare with these damn AI, but it could happen that they just don't build it that fast. Well, I gotta worry about Montezuma being really aggressive. He is kind of far away. Uh, last time I played, I was right next to Hiawatha, and he was. Really, really aggressive, like, right next door to him, he was just up in my face, I had to beat him back. I don't expect that to happen this game, but I will make an army to deal with that guy, just in case. Let's use the scouts to pick that up. It's garbage. Alright, we'll go ahead and meet Wittenberg, though. Oh, two barbarians. Natural Wonder, Aptitude Training is a nice thing we can get from Mount Kilimanjaro. We're the first to meet Wittenberg, we get faith for that. We actually have enough for Pantheon already because of that, that huge bonus we just got hit with, so... Because we also met Katmandu first, I imagine, that's why we have 16, so we'll be the first with a Pantheon, probably. Means we get our choice. It's always nice to get the first in that. I typically pick things that give me more faith so that I can keep on running faith game, but we'll see. Let's see what we got. We got whales, sort of. Not really. <laughs> we got really not much going for us here. This terrain kind of sucks. We need to make another city. Uh... Hmm. Production from fishing boats will be nice for us on the second city that I'm planning on building, but not this first one. First one's gonna suck. There's not too much I can do about that. Hmm. Huh. I always slow down when I get hit with this choice, I'm not sure what I want. Let's just go with the fishing boats thing, we are all coast here. And my capital didn't get much out of it, but I, I plan to have two more coast cities real soon. That's not bad. On production fishing boats, got to the sea. This guy's pretty cool, he's a trading kind of sieve. I never had too much trouble with him. Oh. If you want to start your own religion, you need to generate as much faith as your game timer says. 200 is for standard. For the first one. And then it's random after that. It's not just hitting 200 faith, you also have to wait until it happens. It says chance for a reason. But if you're sitting at the requirement, you'll eventually get one, hopefully. 
That being said, I'm not too into religion for this. Let's just stick with what we're up to, which is going to be fighting Montezuma and he's target number one of, of five here. <laughs> Our plan, let's see. I should get workers. Or steel workers. I could do that. I could steal workers from Kathmandu. You know what? Let's not do that. Let's not worry about workers right now. Let's get the granary, maybe. Or more warriors. I feel like I'm pretty safe, you know. We will steal workers. We'll just have multiple workers running around. That's fine. We'll build settlers soon. Not yet, though. So because we have altitude training, we can move uh, double on hills. That's why we're moving so far. If you were wondering why the scout is cheating, <laughs> it's because they stepped near Mount Kilimanjaro, which is this wonderful thing here that I should totally build a city on quickly. I want all my units to have that wonderful buff. Look at him go. Three moves. I'm the first to meet this city-state, too. We might as well protect them all. Liberty. Mass expansion time. So all we need to do is get all our units down to the mountain itself to actually get that buff and then they have it. Anybody who steps next to the mountain, it's very nice. It doesn't tell you much about it until you, uh, you're kind of left to figure it out on your own, but it does tell you that when you find the mountain. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. Okay, we can build our library. I'm not too keen on doing it with only two citizens, but I have more reason to now since it gives us two gold straight out, which is nice. I think I'm gonna build that settler as soon as I feel like I have the happiness. And we're gonna need that worker first. Archery. Or. Hmm. Trade route will give us techs we can steal from Montezuma over there since he's an immortal AI. He's going to tech ahead of us. I wonder where the other AIs are. Germany. We could steal a worker from Montezuma. I really piss him off early. We could stop their settlers. You know, I'm tempted to do that. Well, I fanned the flames of war already. I think I would regret it. I think I'll let him slide for now. I don't have the power to deal with Montezuma just yet. Okay, so we can get our free settler if we start moving down this route here. We're gonna need quarries, so we need mining. We need masonry.
Well, he expanded pretty quickly. All right. Um, they want me to upgrade that desert tile. I don't agree with that. We can't do much else though here because jerks are sitting on my territory. We're gonna need sailing so we can get our luxury. And our bonus for the Pantheon, too. Let's just guard them while they do that thing. There's Berlin. So he's the one who's gonna try and get that mountain. I want to put a city uh, here, somewhere, I'm not sure where. Let's turn on the grid, make it easier to see. So here is a good place, really nice. Another one is up in this vicinity. We won't be able to get these wells, pretty much, no matter what we do, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that we're not allowed to build here. It's one tile too close, and that would be the ideal place. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too close. Uh, we go up here and get crabs. That's probably where I'm going to throw it down. That would give us four. One, two, three, maybe five? Hmm. I think these wells are out of range, but we'll see. Definitely the other four are in range, though, and that is a lot of production for the God of Sea. So that's where one city's going. Probably the next one, most importantly. That sugar will help though. This city will be just fine as well. So this is my next two cities, nice and safe. While I build my army. The ideal time for my assault would be after I get uh, my special unit, which is going to take a little while. But I wouldn't mind having some early war. My worker's nervous about those archers. Pay me for it. Embassy sold. I think we've seen enough terrain. We'll be friends with you because you're not the target yet. You're too far away. No surprise that I'm not the first to meet you. That's okay. I didn't figure I would be. Okay, we can build a settler now. We can use you to steal from Montezuma if you're in range, are you? Not not in range, that sucks. Maybe next time. Archery. Great library done. Turn 39. Honestly, we need sailing really bad. 
We don't need the units just yet. Normally I would have more units out when I'm playing this route. But we are in such a nice little tucked away place. And our one warrior is doing just fine. Clear the nest. Hey, we should do that, yeah. As soon as I get an archer out. Or maybe just the warrior and the scout can do it. A little bit rough to do that, though. Definitely they have quests for that, so we have good reason to do that now. Meeting city-states all over the place. There's our first settler. We're gonna run into happiness problems. Oh, we can build here. What do you know? I was wrong, it is just right. So, you know what? Is that a better place than what I was talking about before? I don't know if it is or not. Uh, you know what? I don't think it is. We got so many wells already. We can go up here, we can get the crab. We can get uh, a lot of production. And we can get two, three other sea things. Let's do that. Sticking with the original plan. Sometimes I'm really bad at judging tile distance. The hexagons throw me off. But, yeah, you need to be four away from the city, I do know that rule. Settlers got captured. Get off my tile! On Azuma. What are you doing? Sitting up there. He who commands the sea has command of everything. Okay, let's move. Now, archery. Though optics would be a good choice too because. Lighthouse, food, booster. Well, let's get the archers out and then we'll get optics, since we're so sea heavy right now. They don't like the position of the city, but I do. I really like it, so we're sticking with it. Encampment. Empty encampment. That's strange. What happened? They must have seen a unit they could kill or something. Well, my scout might get some free money for us if they... if he can pull it off. Yep. Good job. We need a naming scheme for China. Chinese cities. Okay, let's place you here. This is gonna kill my happiness. Oh well, what are we gonna do? We should upgrade this marble so we can fix that problem. And we'll get a workboat out in five turns, and that'll fix the problem completely. But until that happens, we're kinda in trouble here. Just a little bit negative for a couple turns, we'll be alright.
Let's bring our scouts up here. I don't think I need both of them anymore. I'm gonna get rid of the one that uh, didn't level up. go uh, let's go ahead and get the infrastructure up on these cities somebody Brazil one more person who's gonna hate me real soon because I met a lot of people who don't like warmongers and that's what we're doing Though in the case of Montezuma, they might give me a pass, just because he's really aggressive with territory. So we're negative five happiness, but it's not a big deal. We'll be okay. That, uh, I'm gonna upgrade it. I was worried that they might try and burn him, but I don't think they can. They're gonna die next shot. We'll swing another workboat around with this city to build it, and they'll send it up to Shanghai. Oh god! So Jiggis Khan here, and apparently that's how you pronounce his name. News to me. Uh, he's a civ that I usually ban in multiplayer because his units are so stupid. I'll have to show them off someday, but they are insane. They are ludicrous. They're hard to describe, like they have so many benefits. If a player is playing Genghis Khan, then you probably need tanks to stop him when he's on horsemen. He's crazy. He's literally insane. I should upgrade that sugar, but I think we're okay on happiness now, so it's not a rush. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. This is going to be a game of war for sure, so I'm going to get my archers built after I get all my other buildings. We're going to have an army on our own. Uh, granary. We're going to need another caravan. Cargo ship, honestly, not a caravan. But who will it trade with? You made an instrument in the moon shine at full or not. He who knows others is wise. He who knows himself is enlightened. Alright, well, Fairy Lighthouse, 15 turns. Maybe we can get this. Yeah, I'm not too keen on actual naval warfare, so it's not as appealing as you, you might think it sounds to have one movement and one sight on the sea. We are on a Pangea, after all, so I'm not going too crazy with the ocean. I just happen to be on the coast. That's the only reason why I even bothered with sailing. I'm going to ignore it and just grab a normal lighthouse. More importantly, let's get the damn library in disguise. Okay, so hopefully our workboat will be safe from barbarians as he sails around the globe here. We could use some chariot archers, wouldn't be a bad idea to pick one up. We could use bronze working, we might have some iron for production around here. I'm going down the bottom route, so we could use those soldiers. Why does Catmandu so angry at me? Relax, Catmandu. 